Hello everyone, welcome to Beta by Crashlytics, part two of the tutorial. And in this tutorial, we have a task ahead of us, which is to demonstrate app distribution using beta. In this particular task, we're going to leverage semantic versioning, which will help us uh, tell the difference between the different uh, software version builds of our particular project. And then we're going to add testers emails we're going to add release notes and finally we're going to distribute and show our app distribution inside of the beta, beta application. So let's get started. So we're back in our Crashlytics dashboard and as you can see I've narrowed it down to beta and uh, as you can see in here uh, we don't have any active builds and what we're going to use is our plugin in our IDE to do our first beta distribution. But you may be wondering how do I even do these particular releases? You just click on the link here and it'll open this in our browser and it'll just take us to the through the beta process. Uh, the documentation is well detailed and they just show you how to distribute the app, um, how to add testers, how to add the release notes, and basically how your users will be able to access the application. So before I get started on dis on distributing the application, I just wanted to mention something regarding semantic versioning. This is a really interesting article I, I found on versioning Android applications. I'll add the link in the description below. And basically, they just speak about uh, semantic versioning and how this is used to basically version your software. And using this, you can be able to tell the difference between the different software versions and this actually helps both uh, your development team testers and users know the difference between the software versions that you have released and even when they're testing you can tell them test version 1.1.0 and they'll know exactly um, what that means based on the semantic versioning so when you have some time just go through this so i'll switch over to our ide and in our ide Basically, we're going to use the Fabric plugin to distribute our application. So as you can see here, once I click on the button, it says drag an APK into this window to create a beta distribution. So uh, we're going to need to generate the APK. So based on the semantic versioning article, we need to add dot zero. So uh, the first, let me just zoom in a bit. The first number represents a major, minor, and a patch. So I just updated the version name to follow the semantic versioning uh, format. And then what we're going to do next is to generate our APK. So you can do that simply by clicking on build um, and then come here to build APKs and build APKs. So the build is done and uh, we'll need to locate our APK. So we just come here to app, build, outputs, APK, debug, and we have our application here. So all we'll do is drag and drop it in there. So just grab it and drop it in there. And then it'll ask you to select testers to invite. So there are two, option when it, two options when it comes to uh, selecting testers. You can import uh, a bulk testers from a CSV file. And then it also tells you the required format there. Um, or you can add testers one by one. So for instance, we'll just add um, a test email that I created as one of our testers. There we go. And that's selected. So we'll click next. And then we'll add uh, sort of release notes. So for instance, you can say, uh, the name of the application, beta crash lytics, and then the version 1.0.0. You can just add a brief description, uh, initial app release. So you can put in, in your release notes, you can put in uh, different things. Uh, basically, if there are any features that you've built into the application, any bugs that you fixed, you can definitely put them into the uh, release notes here, but it's optional. So once that's done, we can click distribute. So it will show updating release information and then uploading the APK to the beta application so that um, 
the users can be able to receive the application right. When you click the next button, you will see the metrics for the particular app that has been distributed. So what happens is our app is uploaded to beta and it invites the testers via email. So you can see one person has been invited. That's the test email that I sent out. And, but you can see the status. Um, it's not accepted or installed. Um, so what we're going to show next is how the user can be able to accept our invitation via email and install the beta application. And once they've installed the beta application, they can be able to install our beta Crashlytics app. So we're going to be using Visor. Visor is a tool that enables you to basically um, mirror your device on your desktop. So you install it and then um, once you connect your phone, you can actually view your physical device on your particular desktop. So this is the tool. I'll share the link uh, in the description below. And this is our phone. One thing I'd like to just remind you is ensure that um, you have developer options enabled for Visor to work. And um, basically have the USB debugging on. That's the only way that Visor will be able to detect your app. So if you remember previously, we had sent an email to one of our testers, the test account had created. So I'll just switch over to that email and um, you'll be able to see the invitation that came came in. So via Rogers org, you've been invited to test our app, which is called Beta Crashlytics. So if you just scroll down, once you've registered, so uh, basically it says tap the button below from your mobile device to confirm your name and email address. Once you've registered your device with Crashlytics, um, you can make uh, the bills and send them to you. So you just say, let me in. So as it's doing that, uh, yes, this is the problem with Visor. <laughs> uh, the free version has ads, so it keeps popping up from time to time. I'll just switch back to where we clicked. So these are the particular steps once we clicked on let me in. Before you can start beta testing, you need to download the beta by Crashlytics. So this is the application that uh, I'd mentioned earlier. So beta is the application uh, in which your particular application's builds will get shipped to and you'll be able to download them into your device. So we'll just hit the download button. Um, yes. So we'll just need to install that, click on it. Do you want to access this, install this application? Install, installing. And one thing you need to remember is you need to allow your device to um, install applications from unauthorized uh, sources. So if it's from any source other than the Play Store, you need to allow your device to install that. So we'll just click on open and it'll ask you for your full name. So I'll just do 254 dance and then that's the email for the test account. And here we are, we are in. This is the beta by Crashlytics application. And we want to download our own app that we called beta by Crashlytics. So as you can see, um, we have the release, the, the latest release that was sent, and we have the release notes that had inputted. So when I click download, it'll basically download the application for us, as you can see. It's not a big application and uh, open uh, just once let's see for security your phone is not allowed to install unknown apps from this source this is exactly what I mentioned so I'll just click on settings and then I'll just allow um, allow our device to install apps from this source click back and this is our specific application. Installing. And I can open our particular application now. Here we go. So this is our app, Beta by Crashlytics. And we've basically distributed it 
using beta. So let me just click here so you can see the three different apps. This is our app that we distributed using beta. This is the beta crashlytics app that we used to download our particular application. And this was the email that got, this is our Gmail, and this is the email uh, for us to set up our particular account. In so, the Crashlytics dashboard under beta, you can see that our app has been distributed successfully. This is the version uh, name for the application following the semantic versioning. And as you can see, this is our test user that uh, we sent the invite to. As you can see, they have successfully also installed the application. So moving forward, if there are any issues with the application, any crashes, you'll be able to view them here. And in case you need to add any testers, you just click here, add testers and send them emails and they'll be able to receive the invite and set up similarly to the way we had done it before. So for subsequent pushes, your developers can actually come here once they make changes, um, update the version name, generate the APK, add it here and push to the people, to the testers who are available. So if you add any more testers either through this plugin or here, it will reflect on both ends. So your developers will be able to push um, to the testers who are available. So I'll just uh, show you a more uh, robust uh, account for an app that we've distributed a few more times. So as you can see, these are the different, already 150 more different versions. So these are the different versions of the application with the different um, release notes. And the beauty about beta is you can always roll back to a previous version. So let's say I released version 2.0.4 and um, there was a bug in it. I can just tell my users to roll back to version 2.0.3 as we work on this. And once the update is done, we push and tell them to actually um, uh, update to the latest version. So that's the beauty of um, working with beta. So I just wanted to show you this so you can see how great of a tool it is. And you can actually have different groups of testers. So you can have your QA on one side, um, you can have your actual users in a different group and you can push different versions of the application to different users to get feedback and improve your application. So that's it.